Hello guys, Colin here. Have you ever tried thick picks? They will change your life. A lot of people are being turned on to the delights of boutique picks with a whole lot of girth, and they don't come much chunkier than the 7mm Claymore from BHL. This monster is one of six BHL picks I was sent last year and I've been playing with quite a bit. They're all handmade in Hong Kong from specially selected materials that imbue the picks with their own unique tonal properties, as well as exceptional wear resistance and unparalleled performance. Now you may well be asking, why would anyone want a pick this thick? Well aside from the fact that these ludicrously giant picks are fun to play with, can help build a precise picking action and transfer a lot more energy into the strings for a louder, stronger tone, they're also remarkably useful for players with limited dexterity. For anyone with limited grip strength or mobility in their hands, thin picks can be a nightmare and render guitar playing impossible. Picks like these are designed to be held with much less effort and the large surface area allows users to grip onto these when thinner picks would simply fall out of their grasp or be uncomfortable or painful to use. And that's the power of true ergonomic design. In my fully dexterous hands, these picks are comfortable, contoured to hug my thumb and textured for unparalleled grip. They take all the stress and tension out of holding the pick and leave my hands relaxed and make the guitar playing experience much more enjoyable. If you are looking for performance picks that are as fast, precise and unyielding as your shred talents, then the Assailant XL and Antagonist models are for you. These are sharp performance picks made from ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. This is a softer plastic with a texture of suede leather on the grip areas, but the polished tip glides right off strings thanks to the exceptionally low friction properties of the material. This means that the pick is fast with less attack than you'd expect from harder materials, so smooth consistent shredding is a breeze with these. <laughs> They are also impervious to the gnawing yaw of heavy gauge strings, so downtuned gent players and bass players who use picks will love the indestructible nature of these. The antagonist is considerably thicker than the assailant, and I prefer the former for bass and the latter for guitar. <laughs> If you are more of a tone chaser then you may prefer the HP3 or HP models in either Ultim or U-Glass materials. HP3 in Ultim is a great all-rounder pick. The 3 in the name signifies that this pick is 3mm thick which makes it by far the thinnest of all the BHL picks I have here. Easy to play with, this performs just like a conventional pick, so there won't be much of an adjustment period needed to fall in love with this one. The tone is clear and present, with much more detail than you would expect from a standard Tortex or Nylon pick. shape as HP3 but thicker. This material is called U-Glass and it's an experience unlike anything I've ever held before. This is a plastic that feels and sounds convincingly like ceramic or stone. It's exceptionally hard and gives the strings a bright resonant attack.
I love just holding this one. It feels smooth like a polished stone but still grips incredibly well. It's a marvel of material engineering and reminds me in looks to a Weathers original, although not as satisfying in the mouth. <laughs> life and like things that make you happy, then these last two are for you. The Claymore is one of the biggest picks BHL do. At 7mm it absolutely dwarfs this 6mm ebony pick that I made for myself some time ago. Monster picks are delightfully fun to play with and I do find them to be good training picks. To use these effectively at speed you really need to work on your picking precision and dexterity. You simply can't be as sloppy with these as you can with thinner picks and therefore they come highly recommended as training implements if you wish to improve your skills. Plus they just kinda look awesome and are sure to be a discussion piece when you pull it out, just like any other large objects you keep in your pocket. <laughs> Lastly, while not made of any specialised materials, this acrylic pick shows off BHL's glow-in-the-dark inlay designs. This particular colour scheme will be popular with anyone who likes Paul Gilbert and mine has been drilled with a pendant hole should I want to wear it as a necklace, like many others have done. As you will have probably guessed, handmade items of this fine quality don't come cheap, but if you're looking to splash out and give your hands a well-deserved treat, then you can check out BHL and the link provided in this video's description. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, then you can hit that subscribe button and that'll notify you of all new content as it comes out. Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff if you wish to support me over there, and there's other videos you might not have seen. But that's all for now, guys. Keep it loud, and I will see you later. Pecs!